Hey friends, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss the five basic things that we can also do using VBA. If till now you think that VBA is very difficult or learning VBA is a tough job, then this video is going to change your opinion about VBA. So let's start. Here we have the list of five items that we can do using VBA or that we are going to discuss in this video. The first thing is that how to add specific text or value in selected cells using VBA. Then how to change font color, how to add cell color, how to add cell border and at last how to add shortcut key for any VBA code. We will discuss all these five items one by one. The first of all, to add VBA code, we need to add here one more tab that is developer tab. To add here developer tab, we need to go to file tab. In file tab, we need to go to options. In options, we need to go to customize ribbon. In customize ribbon under main tabs, you will see here developer tab. We just need to check this box for developer tab. Then we need to click for OK. After we click on OK, you will see here we have here developer tab. Now to add VBA code, we need to go in developer tab. In developer tab, we can see here visual basic option. We need to click on this visual basic option. After we click on this option, you will see it will open a new window. In this window, first of all, we need to come here. Microsoft Excel objects. In Microsoft Excel objects, you can see here two things. Sheet 1 and this workbook. If we come back to our workbook on which we are working, we can see here we have here only one sheet that is sheet 1. And this is exactly same that we have here in VBA window, sheet 1 and then this workbook these two options shows that where we want to use or where we want to apply our vba code that we will write here in this window do we want to apply our vba code only in sheet one that is here or in this whole workbook that will be whenever we will be adding here more sheets we would be able to use vba code in all sheets of this workbook otherwise if we choose this option then we will be able to use vba code only in this sheet that is sheet one for time being let's say we want to use or we want to apply vba code only in sheet one we don't want to apply vba code in other sheets of this workbook so for this we will click two times on this sheet one after we click two times on this sheet one it will give us a blank window here now here in this blank space we need to write our vba code to write vba code we need to write sub sub this is by default for any code we need to write sub and after this sub we need to choose or we need to write name of code that we are going to write this depends on us that what name we want to use let's say this is our first trick and for our first trick we want to use name trick one and after that we will insert parentheses and press enter now we need to write our we need to write our code between these two lines what code or for what purpose we want to write code this is our purpose the first point add specific text or value in selected cells we want to select we want to insert value in selected cell so what will be code quite simple code we code will be selection dot value as we want to insert value in selection so code is quite simple equal sign what value we want to add let's say we want to add value one two three four we want to add value one two three four in our selected area so this is our code for first point c this is quite simple now what we need to do we need to go to save option and it will ask us that if you need to if you want to use code vba code you need to save your workbook as x uh, macro enabled workbook so we will click on no then we will save as macro enabled workbook macro excel macro enabled workbook and then we will go for save and now we have been written our first VBA code. We will just close this and we will try our first VBA code. Let's say we will select this area. We will go to develop, developer tab and in macro, we will go to macro. And in this macro window, you can see here, this is our VBA code that, that we have been written here. This is name trick one. So we will run this VBA code and here we go. You can see in our selected area, we have value one, two, three, four. Run one, two, three, four. So we have been successfully written our first VBA code. 
the one thing that you need to care about this VBA code is that if you want to fill your selection with value, it is okay. You can use in place of one, two, three, four, you can use any value. But let's say if you want to fill your selection with text, then you need to write text in quotation mark. Let's say we want to fill selection with the word Excel, Excel, then this word, because this is text, this is not number or this is not a value that we need to insert quotation mark before and after Excel and we will save we will close this and again we will try macro run this code and you can see here we can use even text but for text we need to insert quotation mark now let's write code for second point again to write code we need to go to developer tab in developer tab we need to go to visual basic option and here as we need to write our second code we will write sub we will write name of our second code let's say trick two parenthesis enter and now between these two lines we need to write code for change font color now we need to change font color in our selected area or in our selection so simply selection dot font dot color quite simple equal now we need to write here the color that we want to use for text for our sorry font we will write here rgb red green blue and in parentheses we need to write value of red green and blue let's say value of red 100 for green let's say 100 also and let's say for blue 25 you can use or you can write any value here for this color we will save now we have been written vba code for our second point that is change font color in selection again to try this vba code we will again go to our workbook in workbook go to developer tab macros and then you can see here trick two we will just select the area let's say we want to change font color for this selection we will go to developer tab macros and we will select trick two vba code that is trick two run and you can see here font color has been changed for these cells that we selected now let's write vba code for third point add cell color or how to fill cell color again developer tab visual basic and here as we are going to write new code sub let's say of cell color parenthesis and enter now between these two lines we need to write vba code to add cell color what we will do selection dot interior dot color as we want to fill interior side of color or we want to color interior side of cell so selection interior dot color equal again same thing rgb and after this rgb we need to write uh, red green and blue let's say same we will use 100 100 let's say maybe 20 close parenthesis save and now this code name is cell color again we will go to our workbook let's say we want to fill these cells we have been selected these cells we will go to developer tab we will go to macro and then this is our the latest code that we have been written to add cell color we will select this code we will run and here we go you can see we have been filled color in these cells so this was our third VBA code for this third point now VBA code for our fourth point for fourth point again we will go to developer tab visual basic and then here we will write sub let's say this is border border or cell border let's say cell border parenthesis enter and now what we will do selection dot borders dot line style equal let's say xl dot these are different types of uh, borders if you will go to let's say google you will see here there are different types of uh, cell borders so we can select any type of cell border for the time being we have been selected xl dot and let's say again we want to select color of this border selection sorry selection dot borders dot 
color equal let's say RGB let's say cell color we want to use maybe black so 0 0 0 for black color the red green and blue is 0 so we will we will just save we will go back to our workbook let's say these cells we have been selected developer macro and now cell border we will run you can see we have here cell borders in black color in dotted line so we even we can change this border style let's say we want to use normal border so we will use in place of excel dot we will use excel continuous so we will just save again we will come back here let's say we want to apply borders here again we will go to developer macro and we will select this cell border vba code run and here we go you can see here now we have here normal borders even we can use a different colors of borders now the last thing how to add shortcut key for this let's say we will we want we will merge all codes in one we will just cut from here and we will paste all codes in first vba code i will just delete all these vba codes and now we have one vba code in which we will be able to do all these things so just i will save it and i will come back to our workbook and let's say here we want to apply this vba code developer tab macro and this vba code and in this vba code we have merged all these codes so i will run i think there is some mistake just let me check selection dot value excel selection font color font color is yes i think font color we need to change font color here because font color is same as uh, cell color so i will just change font color let's say 255 255 and 255 i will save now let's go back to our sheet again macro run and here we go again selection macro run our vp code and here we go now the last thing that we still need to discuss how to add shortcut key let's say for this vba code we want to add shortcut key we don't want to every time let's say we want to add this thing we don't want to go to developer tab and then macro and then run right we just want to let's say do it immediately so for this we can add one shortcut key so to add shortcut key we will go to developer tab we will go to macros in macros we will select the VBA code for which we want to add VBA uh, we, for which we want to add shortcut key. So we will select this VBA code and to add shortcut key we will go to options. In options you can see here shortcut key. Let's say uh, we want to use shortcut key for this maybe control shift B. So I will press shift plus B and now we have here shortcut key. I will go for OK. I will just cancel it and now let's say I want to add here I will select this I will press shortcut key control shift B and here we go control shift B and here we go so friends that's all these are the five basic things that we can do using VBA code and you can see this is quite simple to use VBA code just we need to arrange our words to tell or to explain excel that what we want to do and that's all that this is vba code so if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends thanks for watching bye bye